Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and leave a like and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. So today, I'm in Power BI. And so um, I've got this ribbon chart here in Power BI that's uh, dealing with my uh, my Los Angeles Lakers here from the uh, from the mid-90s into their championship uh, seasons here in 2000, 2001, and 2002. And this is uh, the, the top scorers from uh, that era. And so uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Spencer Bach. So if you're not uh, familiar with Spencer Bach, he's one of the the top guys doing the uh, the sports and data uh, mashups. So this is definitely influenced uh, by his original um, uh, visualization on the Chicago Bulls, right? So everyone's got last dance fever. I've never been a, a big Chicago Bulls fan, but definitely the, br the blueprint uh, for this visualization comes from Spencer Box. So definitely give him a follow on Twitter. Uh, check out his blog. Um, but wanted to show you here the technique. So we're using data from basketball reference, right? So if I uh, just want to bring over my web browser here, this is basketball reference. So I got 94, 95 Los Angeles Lakers. And you can see there are a number of tables in here, right? Um, but what I care about is this per game table. And so, you know, you can, um, you know, we'll have to put the player name here and we'll have to put another column for the year 1995 and we'll do this for uh, eight seasons and mash them all up in Power BI. So again, I, again, just wanted to show you that and show you Spencer Bach. This was his original that he did on the Chicago Bulls. Give him a follow uh, on Twitter. Just want to make sure that he gets the, that shout out right there. So again, I did this for the Lakers. You can see Shaq and, and Kobe here, uh, leading scorers. Uh, these teams are pretty good too. Um, you know, we just couldn't get over the uh, the hurdle during these years until everything kind of clicked together. Uh, Shaq, Kobe, Glenn Rice came over in that in that season. So Derek Fisher too can't leave him out. So let me show you how you put something together uh, like this. You don't have to use the Lakers, right? You know, I'm a big Laker fan, and Lakers have a big fandom. But you know, you could do the same uh, for your teams. Uh, they may not have uh, these championships. Um, you know, shout out to the Celtics, you know, <laughs> got to give props to the Celtics, but you know, try this for your team, try this for your team. So let's, uh, let's get started on how we put something together like this. So I've got a blank power BI desktop and what we'd want to do is let's go ahead and get data. And the key for this is importing data from the web page. And so that's, that's the brilliant, uh, you know, idea behind this is that you can just grab the data from the web instead of uh, downloading it as a, as a CSV file. And so the link that I was just showing you, right, it was the 1995 Lakers. I'm just going to copy that URL in here, see from web. I'm going to say, okay, it's going to grind a little bit and it's going to bring up a number of tables and it's going to think about it. Right. So all these tables come up, right? HTML tables. And what I care about is the per game table on basketballreference.com. And it gives you a little preview, right? That's great. Gives you that preview. And you can also see the web view, right? You know, you know what it looks like. I showed you uh, what it looks like. We're grabbing that per game table here. So, I mean, this is brilliant. And so I want to transform the data at this point. I want to load it. I want to transform the data because there's some steps we have to do. Uh, to put the data in a format that we like, right? So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to put player here for this column, right? And then this is 1995. I'm just going to put 1995 per game table. And then we don't have anything in here that uh, indicates which season, right, that we're dealing with. So I'm just going to do a add column, custom column. And this is going to be season 1995 say okay and and we should be good right and so now i'm going to do the same thing for another season 1996 i'm going to right click new query right and we're just going to repeat the process right i'm going to 
paste the URL in here instead of 95. I want 96. Say OK. It's going to think about it. And we want our per game table. That's the one. Say OK. And then I like to come over here, 1996, just name that. We got to give the uh, this column a name. And then we'll do add column, the custom column. This is going to be 1996. So this will be season. And that's going to be 1996. Right? I'm going to say OK. And we have that. And then I'm just going to do this one more time through the magic of... Uh, uh, time travel here. I'm just going to pause and 1997 is going to pop up because I'm just going to repeat the same process uh, that I showed you, right? I'm just going to hit new query and uh, again, web, paste this in here and 97, right? I'm not going to do all eight seasons, but I will do um, uh, these three. So let me Okay, and like magic, here we are, 1997 imported. I use the same steps. So we've got three different tables here, 95, 96, and 97. And so if you wanted to do an eight-year span, you would just repeat this eight times, right? I'm just going to do it three times here for the purposes of just uh, showing you uh, some of the basics of the, of the technique here. So, so we've done three. Uh, what I want to do now is we're going to go over here to append queries. We want to combine all of these tables up. I'm going to append queries as new, meaning I want a new table, right? And so I have three or more tables. And then, you know, I'm just going to get rid of this guy. I'm going to do all three. I'm going to highlight all three of these and say add 95, 96, 97. Say OK. And it's going to merge them into one table. So you'll notice I have, let's go over here. Seasons, 95, 96, and 97. Perfect, All right? And, and again, this is this is great. You just get this straight from the web. You don't have to download the CSV and then import them, you know, eight times. You're just, you know, pointing it to URL. So this is great. So uh, I want to give this a name. So since I only did this for three, we're going to call this, and I'm just going to paste in here, 95 to 97 per game table, right? That is going to be the name of this combined table. And then I can say close and apply. And it's going to um, apply the query changes here. It's going to grind uh, for a little bit. All right. So it's just about finished. And you will notice here if I go to the data model, well, if I look at the table, um, our combined table here, our per game table, I should have, again, season 95, 96, and 97. And then these are the individual tables. We don't really need those. We can go to the data model. You'll see that it's, you know, trying to, to make a connection. We, we actually don't need these. I'm just going to delete the, the links here. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, I'm just going to kill all of these. I could get rid of the tables too, but you know, it's, we can we can leave those in there. That's fine. All we care about is this table. We just don't want to make sure that um, there's any uh, adverse reaction from from the joins to these other tables. So all we care about is that table. So now, if I come back in here, what I care about is the ribbon chart. We're gonna go uh, ribbon chart, and we can expand this out a bit. Yeah, it's only going to have uh, three seasons. Now, I'm not going to do the, the whole formatting uh, that I went through. That's going to take a lot, but I'm just going to show you, again, uh, the basics here. So we have that ribbon chart. Let's go into our, our main uh, combined table. And so on the axis, we want to put the season. So if I say, yeah, okay, it puts that on the axis. And then we want on the legend, we want the player. A lot of legends on, on the Lakers. And then on the uh, the values, we want the points per game, points per game. And there we go. So you see we have a, uh, a ribbon chart that comes into play. Let's get rid of this, uh, the legend up top. Let's turn that off. And then you'll notice in 97, 95, and 96, we're kind of, we're out of order here, right? Um, so let's go ahead and do this. We want to go back and, well, let's do this for our season. Just going to highlight that. We want to make sure the data type is a whole number. Yes. 
And so it should put it in the right sort order. And there we go, 95, 96, and 97. So this should be, um, okay, yeah, this is Cedric Sabalos. Um, yeah, Shaq just got there in uh, 97. So uh, going back to the, uh, to the finished product here, Let's go, let's go back over here, right? This is the finished product. Uh, the only difference here is I just did it over eight seasons, right? Instead of three. And, you know, I, I just brought in some images, some transparent images. So there's the Lakers, you know, this is a uh, big Shaq, uh, Kobe Bryant, RIP, right? I brought those in and overlaid them. Uh, same thing with the Larry O'Brien right here, the championship trophy. And then these are just uh, text all right, this is text uh, transparent on uh, on the on the uh, respective ribbons here. So um, this is how you build out uh, this particular visualization. Again, the key here is grabbing the data from the web. I think that's ingenious. Again, shout out to the blueprint for this visualization. So if you're a Lakers fan, uh, let me know. Uh, go ahead and leave a, uh, a like, uh, leave a comment if you do this. Hey, I'd like to see this uh, for some other teams. Right? I know it's been the Bulls, and I've done the Lakers. Hey, I'd like to see you know some other teams. Uh, so if you do that, go ahead and uh, leave a, uh, uh, a link in the comments. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you learned something here. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.